I could not make it down. It touched me. It touched me. I'm sorry. I mean, all I did was just touch her. Oh, it's all right. She can't bear to have a man's hand touching her. Oh, she got problems. Yes, she does. I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to avoid being touched, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's why she's here. My name's Roberta. I'm Garp. You're Jenny's son. Yes, I am. Oh, I just finished reading your novel. I think it's wonderful. I adored what it. It is. What happened? Oh, it's all right. Garb just frightened Alice for a bit, but she's fine. Mom, I'm sorry. All I did was just touch her. It's all right, darling. It's all right, everyone. It's all right. Just go back to do what you were doing before. It's, everything is fine. Barbara, 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 Barbara. Barbara, it's all right. Mama, I'm sorry. I didn't know. He's my son. What's her problem? She's an Ellen Jamesian. What does that mean? You don't know what an Ellen Jamesian is? No, Mom, I don't. I mean, what, is she taking a vow of frowns or something? What's all this? She has no tongue. What do you mean, she has no tongue? I mean, she has no tongue. It was cut off. Oh, Christ, I'm sorry. It was cut off on purpose because of what happened to a little girl named Ellen James. Two men raped her when she was 11 years old. They cut off her tongue so she wouldn't tell anyone who they were or what they looked like. Some of these women formed a society in her honor. You mean this Ellen James Society goes around not talking as if they had no tongues? No, I mean they don't have any tongues. The women in a society have their tongues cut off to protest what happened to Ellen James. Well, you mean they actually have their own tongues cut off? Yes. The society... Oh, Mama, I don't want to hear about this shit. You're a little short on sympathy, son. No, Mama, I got a lot of sympathy for a little girl who gets raped, but, my God, this is self-mutilation. I mean, suppose the next time there's a rape, I cut off my prick and I wear it around my neck. Barbara, what? Well, I got a good idea, too. Why don't you come out? All right, all right. Is that what you're doing? It's all right. Jesus Christ. No sense making things any worse than they are. This whole house is full of... I know, I know. Everyone here has something missing or some wound that won't heal. And your mother tries to nurse them back to health. She's a wonderful person. Are you visiting somebody here? No, why? Well, you just seem like the only normal person around the place. Oh, I don't know. Pardon me. I hate to use a corny line like this, but haven't I seen you before? You like football? Oh, yeah, I used to watch you quite a bit. Well, you might have seen me. I was a tight end with the Philadelphia Eagles. Number 90, Robert Muldoon. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had a great pair of hands. Yes, you did. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs>